revolution, and I had to protect my kids from understanding it. We will not give in to the thinkers. You people are as loud as you are ignorant. Now get back on your turnip trucks and go home. That is an insultingly accurate stereotype, sir. As a professor of science, I assure you that we did, in fact, evolve from filthy monkey men. I cannot speak for you, sir, but my ancestors were not monkeys. They were orangutans, hard-working, patriotic orangutans. Dr. Banjo? In the fur. And I remind you that evolution is merely a theory, like gravity or the shape of the Earth. <laughs> hey, professor. I'm a flying spaghetti monster. You seriously believe I'm descended from some kind of flightless manicotti? Yes! Oh, please. A far more logical explanation is the undisprovable science of creaturism. All life was created in its present form 7,000 years ago by a fantastical creature from outer space! Bunk! Oh? If your elitist East Coast evolution is real. Why has no one found the missing link between modern humans and ancient apes? We did find it. It's called Homo erectus. Then you have proven my case, sir. For no one has found the link between apes and this Homo erectus. Yes, they have. It's called Homo habilis. Aha! Uh -huh. But no one has found the missing link between ape and the so-called Homo habilis. Yes, they have! It's called Australopithecus africanus! Oh, ho I've got you now. Fair enough. But where, then, is the missing link between apes and this Darwinius massili? Answer me that, Professor. Oh, okay, granted that one missing link is still missing. But just because we haven't found it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Pshaw! Things don't exist simply because you believe in them. Thus saith the almighty creature in the sky! 